KDSM Fox 17 is Central Iowa's entertainment leader. Eyewitness News with Jack Cafferty, Bill Thomas, Jerry Reno, Jim Zabel, and the rest of the Eyewitness News team. Now here's Jack Cafferty. Good evening. In Utah, the execution of convicted murderer Gary Gilmore is off. From Channel 13, Central Iowa's award-winning news station, this is Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Phil Thomas. And I'm Greg Burton. Welcome to Eyewitness News. As you can see, we are doing the news from a new, more attractive set tonight. This is News Center 13. Good evening, I'm Steve Nichols. A near drowning at a local motel this afternoon has left a five-year-old Des Moines boy in serious condition. Here's the lead. And now Mike Keen and DJ Fear with News Center 13. Good evening, everybody. It doesn't happen often, but there are times in the news business when the man overshadows the event. Watching WHO TV Des Moines, the news source. And now from Iowa's news center, Scott Pope, Susie Robinette, meteorologist Mike Lozano, Jeff Binefor with sports. This is News Center 13 at 6. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. It's 10 o'clock, and you're watching WHO-TV Des Moines, the news source. And now, from the News Center of Iowa, Scott Pope and Susie Robinette. Meteorologist Mike Lozano. Sports with Jeff Vinefor. This is News Center 13 tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The city of Newton is preparing to mourn the loss of one of its finest. You're watching WHO-TV Des Moines, Iowa's News Center. And now, Scott Pope and Susie Robinette. Chief Meteorologist Mike Lozano. And Jeff Bime for with Sports. This is News Center 13 tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. The 71st Iowa General Assembly is underway. This is News Center 13 at 6 with John Bachman, Susie Robinette, meteorologist Tim Hedrick with weather, and Jeff Bimefor with sports. Good evening. A holiday tragedy in a small Iowa town tonight. A house fire in Grand Junction, Iowa, has killed a grandmother and her granddaughter. Come on, on. This is a late edition of News Center 13 with Scott Pope, Allison Gregory Pope, meteorologist Tom Atkins with weather, and Tony Powers with sports. Good evening, everyone. What a crummy end weather-wise to the Christmas holiday. This is WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now, News Center 13 at 10 with John Bachman, Kelly Eckerman, Meteorologist Tim Hedrick with the weather, and Jeff Bimefor with the sports. Good evening. A Waterloo mother is under arrest tonight, charged with murdering her son. You're watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now, the news team that's making a difference in central Iowa. This is News Center 13. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Kerrigan, and with Scott Pope, thanks for being with us. You're watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now, the news team that's making a difference in central Iowa. John Bachman, Kelly Eckerman, 
Jeff Binefor on sports, and Gary Amble with tonight's forecast. This is New Center 13 at 6. Good evening. We begin tonight with ear splitting noise. It's agonizing for Southside residents. They have had enough. You're watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now, the news team that's making a difference in central Iowa. Scott Pope, Allison Gregory Pope, Tony Powers on sports, and Ed Wilson with tomorrow's forecast. This is New Center 13 at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Somewhere out there tonight, people who care are searching the streets of Des Moines for the homeless. They want to bring them in where it's warm to keep them from freezing to death. You're watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now the news team that's making a difference in central Iowa. This is News Center 13. Good evening and thank you for being with us. The holiday weekend begins with violence. You're watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now a special late edition of News Center 13. Good evening. Welcome to News Center 13. You're watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. Your 24-hour news source. This is News Center 13 at 10. Good evening. I'm Jim Strickland in tonight for Scott Pope. It looked like negotiations finally might be getting somewhere on the budget, but then folks from the White House walked out of the meeting. WHO TV 13 Des Moines. Your 24-hour news source. And now, John Bachman, Kim Carrigan, Jim Zobel with sports, and meteorologist Gary Amble with tomorrow's forecast. This is News Center 13 at 10. Watching WHO TV 13 Des Moines. Your 24-hour news source. And now, Scott Pope, Therese Thompson, Pat Paris with sports, and meteorologist Mike Burris. This is News Center 13 at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us. From WHO TV in Des Moines, where the news comes first 24 hours a day. And now, Jim Strickland, Laurie Groves, and Ed Wilson with your first forecast. This is Live at 5. The jury in the Joseph White murder trial continues to debate the evidence. No verdict again today. But our top story live at 5, the queen of daytime talk show in central Iowa tonight, Oprah Winfrey bringing her show to Madison County. Good afternoon. Welcome to Live at 5. She draws a full house wherever she goes. Mm, the live from WHO TV 13, where the news comes first 24 hours a day. John Bachman, Kim Kerrigan, Rick Silvestrini with sports, and meteorologist Gary Amble with the weather. This is News Center 13 at 6. You're looking at a live picture of... Live from WHO TV 13, where the news comes first 24 hours a day. John Bachman. Kim Kerrigan. Rick Silvestrini with sports. And meteorologist Gary Ample with your weather. This is News Center 13 at 6. <coughs> A sound that certainly isn't music to anyone's ears. A variety of viruses have Iowans in their grips. Everybody's watching this case, and they've got to do what's right. And Randy Weaver speaks out on his first full day back in Iowa. Good evening. The last time Randy Weaver had spent the night under the same roof of his children, their Idaho cabin was under siege by federal agents. Live from WHO TV 13 where the news comes first 24 hours a day. John Bachman, Kim Kerrigan, Rick Silvestrini with sports, and meteorologist Gary Amble with the weather. This is News Center 13 at 10. A dead fish floating in the South River, one of many thought killed by contaminated waters. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The DNR tonight asking people to stay out of the South River east of Indianola for the next few days. Live from WHO TV 13, where the news comes first 24 hours a day. Scott Pope, Therese Thompson, 
Pat Paris with sports and Jerry Reno with the weather. This is New Center 13 at 10. Children make a gruesome discovery off of Polk Boulevard in Des Moines tonight. Investigators now trying to identify a human skull. If Joseph White and dozens of residents turn out for a march downtown to protest the Drake Diner murders verdict and rally support for Joseph White Jr. Good evening and thanks for joining us. We'll have more on the discovery of the skull and the rally at the courthouse in just a few minutes. The following program is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Captioning provided by the physicians and staff of the Mercy Cancer Center. Live from your 24-hour news source, you're watching News Center 13 at 10. And uh, it's a wonderful love story. And it, and it, and it, and it shows just uh, some of the beautiful scenery of Iowa, the wonderful people. Live from your 24-hour news source, you're watching News Center 13 Late Edition. From WHO TV 13, you're watching News Center 13 at 10 with John Bachman, Lori Groves, Jim Sobel with sports, and Ed Wilson with your Skywatch 13 weather. From WHO TV 13, your 24 hour news source. This is News Center 13 at noon. The turnstiles opened at 8 o'clock sharp and have been running non-stop ever since. It's day one of the country's number one state fair. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a perfect day to start the 1996 Iowa State Fair. Live from News Center 13, your best choice for news starts now. Right now, I'm just here because I love my children. A former Des Moines man returns tonight to visit his abused, hospitalized son and try to get him back, but there may be a roadblock. But our top story tonight, the special assignment team has learned Circus Circus is out of luck and out of time in its effort to buy Prairie Meadows. Good evening. What began with lots of fanfare will end in a fizzle. WHO TV 13, your 24-hour news source. John Bachman, Kathy Soltero, Pat Paris with sports, and meteorologist Ed Wilson with your Doppler 13 forecast. This is News Center 13 at 10. A massive effort underway in Reno, Nevada. You'll see the exhausting effort firefighters are making to take control of the wildfires. Live from WHO TV 13, coverage you can count on. John Bachman, Kathy Soltero, Keith Murphy Sports, and meteorologist Ed Wilson with your Doppler 13 forecast. This is New Center 13 at 10. Wild winds whipped across Sailorville Lake. Coming up, some exclusive home video. Live from WHO TV 13 Des Moines, coverage you can count on. Patrick Dix, Bobby Silvernail, and first alert meteorologist Mark Faree with Pinpoint Doppler Radar. This is WHO TV 13 News, today in Iowa at 5. It's a firefighter's worst nightmare, a burning roof collapses. Live from WHO TV 13 Des Moines, coverage you can count on. This is WHO TV 13 News at noon. Millions of people download music off of Napster, but that could change today. Live from WHO TV 13, coverage you can count on. John Bachman, Laurie Groves, and first alert meteorologist Ed Wilson with Pinpoint Doppler Radar. This is WHO TV 13 News, live at 5. From WHO TV 13 News, home of Chopper 13. This is WHO TV 13 News, prime time at 9. For shoppers, it means dozens of new stores. For West Des Moines, millions in new tax dollars. And for Dallas County, a development boom. But tonight, the Jordan Creek Center is facing a legal roadblock. We'll walk you through step by step. From WHO TV 13 News, coverage you can count on. Katherine Pritchard, Keith Murphy Sports, and first alert meteorologist Ed Wilson with Pinpoint Doppler Radar. This is WHO TV 13 News prime time at 9 on PAX. Coverage you can count on starts now. Live from WHO TV 13 Des Moines, 
home of Chopper 13. This is WHO TV 13 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Lauren Halifax. I'm John Buck. Our top story tonight, a local police officer who has spent countless hours fighting crime now finds himself on the wrong side of the law. Live from WHO TV 13, coverage you can count on. John Bachman, Lauren Halifax, Keith Murphy Sports, and First Alert Meteorologist Ed Wilson with Pinpoint Doppler Radar. This is WHO TV 13 News at 10. You're set on Fox 17, KTSM, Des Moines. This is Fox 17 News at 9. Investigators returned to the site of the train derailment in southwest Iowa in an effort to find an exact cause. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Crews continue to comb through the farm fields of southwest Iowa tonight, searching for clues to just what caused a weekend Amtrak derailment. Coming up on Fox News at 9, we're just hours away from Election Day, but votes are already being counted in Polk County. We'll take you there. It's not a poll, but it's a good indicator going into Election Day. We'll show you the ultra-tight numbers in the Iowa electronic market. And first on Fox tonight, as millions here in Iowa prepare to cast their votes, both sides make their final stop in Iowa. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Tiffany O'Donnell. You decide 2004 may be nearing an end, but not before a whirlwind dash through a handful of battleground states, including right here in Iowa. Live from WHO TV Des Moines, this is Channel 13 News at 5. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Bachman. And I'm Tricia Shepard. By this time tomorrow, vote. From WHO TV, John Bachman, Tricia Shepard and Ed Wilson's first alert forecast. This is Channel 13 News at 5. Gathering news from across central Iowa and around the world, this is Fox News at 9. Tonight, first, Whirlpool announced it was closing Maytag's Newton headquarters. Now workers at two more Iowa companies will soon be out of a job. Also, the nation's emergency rooms are in a code blue. As a new report says the quality of patient care is slipping. And does Iraq's prime minister want to pardon terrorists who fired on U.S. troops? We have details on the latest political controversy. Those stories plus your Foxcast right now on Fox News at 9. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tiffany O'Donnell. Yet another Iowa plant closing will leave hundreds more out of a job. From WHO TV, this is Channel 13 News at 10. Tonight, Dallas County is faced with a tough question. Who will take over for Brian Gilbert? From WHO TV, John Bachman, Aaron Kiernan, meteorologist Ed Wilson, and Keith Murphy Sports. You're watching Channel 13 News at 10. For Wednesday, May 23rd, 2007, this is Fox News at 9. Tonight, we're live outside the Kodak Theater with more idle excitement. And it's been a crazy mix of celebrities, both on stage and in the audience. We'll recap the who's who of the big night. Plus, do your children want to learn from the best? Former Idol contestants come together for the first ever AI summer camp. It's all right now on Fox News at 9. Of American Idol. From WHO HD, Iowa's high definition leader. This is Channel 13 News at 6. The number of Iowans diagnosed with HIV AIDS is on the rise. And that means more people need medication. From WHO HD, Iowa's high definition leader. This is Channel 13 News at 10. Breaking news tonight, two people are injured by gunfire this evening and police are in the middle of their search for a suspect. Good evening, I'm John Bach. I'm Erin Kiernan, thank you for joining us. From WHO HD, Iowa's high definition leader, you're watching Channel 13 News at 10. From WHO HD, the local news leader, you're watching Channel 13 News, today in Iowa. From WHO HD, the local news leader. 
This is Channel 13 News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jody Whitworth. It's finally starting to feel more like winter. At least it will by the end of the night. From WHO HD, the local news leader. You're watching Channel 13 News at 10. From WHO HD, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at 10. Have you seen his hands? They're like this. And you know what they say about men with small hands? That's what the campaigning has sounded like during the past week, and it didn't change much during tonight's debate. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters. Thank you for being with us tonight. Fox News called it a debate. From WHO HD, the local news leader, this is Channel 13 News Today in Iowa. Good morning. Yeah, as we're <laughs> last like second, present. very last minute this morning. I got a little behind. I'm not really quite sure why. You're watching Channel 13 News today in Iowa with Brooke Bauma, Andy Fails, and meteorologist Jerry Ann Ritter. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO HD, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Megan Ruther. Thank you for joining us this Friday. Lots of local news to get to. You're watching Channel 13 News at Noon with Megan Ruther and meteorologist Amber Alexander. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO HD, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at 4. Look at this. The hey. Brent Skating Plaza <laughs> open today. People out there this morning, bright and early. Our own Whitney Blakemore was learning how to skate today. Uh, this is the 14th season for the plaza. You can still get your skate on if you want. It is open until 11 o'clock tonight. A great it's day to be out there. a beautiful day, you know, and it's getting warm, much warmer yeah. than we expected. Yeah. You're watching Channel 13 News at 4 with Dan Winters, Sonia Height Susan and Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO HD, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at 5. A new bike ride across Iowa made a major announcement today. Good evening, I'm Erin Kiernan. And I'm Sonia Height Susan. Thanks for joining us. Iowa's Ride, that's the competitor now to RAGBRAI, says it's changing the dates of its ride. Both rides were originally scheduled for the same week, but now Iowa's Ride will run the week before RAGBRAI. You're watching Channel 13 News at 5 with Erin Kiernan, Sonia Height Susan, and Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO HD, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at 6. What was scheduled to be a funeral for the late Congressman Leonard Boswell turned into a funeral of two after his beloved wife, Dodie, passed away early this morning. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Justin Cernsey. You're watching Channel 13 News at 6 with Aaron Kiernan, Dan Winters, Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson, and Keith Murphy Sports. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News Today in Iowa. All right, it is 6.30 on this Monday morning. We'll get, we'll get to those top stories in just a moment. But first, thank you for joining us. I'm Jody Long. I'm Andy Fails. Do I have all the Oreo out of my teeth? You're watching Channel 13 News Today in Iowa with Andy Fails, Jody Long, and meteorologist Jerry Ann Ritter. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News Today in Iowa Saturday. Good morning and thanks for joining us for our second hour of Today in Iowa Saturday. I am Maria Lizagnoli alongside Justin Surrency. You're watching Today in Iowa Saturday. 
with Maria Lissignoli, Justin Serency, and meteorologist Megan Salwa. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News, Today in Iowa Sunday. Hey, welcome back to Today in Iowa Sunday. It's already November 24th. I'm Maria Lizagdoli. Yeah, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Yes. I'm Justin Cernsey. You're watching Today in Iowa Sunday with Maria Lissignoli, Justin Cernsey, and meteorologist Megan Salwa. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader, this is Channel 13 News at noon. Oh, we want to start outside. Here's a look at the Iowa DOT traffic cam. This is, uh, you're looking east, so that is westbound traffic going toward Ryder Corner. You're watching Channel 13 News at noon with Megan Ruther and meteorologist Megan Salwa. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader, this is Channel 13 News at 4. Good afternoon, I'm Sonia Hyde Susan. I'm Dan Winters, thanks for being with us as it seems like we're sort of playing with house money after a beautiful oh. weekend. Oh. You're watching Channel 13 News at 4 with Dan Winters, Sonia Hyde Susan, and Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader, this is Channel 13 News at 5. A presidential candidate came to Iowa with a question for voters. Do they want a candidate to try to win their votes in person or one who spends tens of millions of dollars to try to win their support with campaign ads? Good evening, I'm Erin Kiernan. And I'm Sonia Hyde Susan. Thanks for joining us. You're watching Channel 13 News at 5 with Aaron Kiernan, Sonia Heitzusen, and Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader, this is Channel 13 News at 6. The Thanksgiving travel season is already expected to be the busiest in history. Some of those travelers could end up spending the holiday grounded at the airport, too. Good evening. I'm Dan Winters. So You're watching Channel 13 News at 6 with Aaron Kiernan, Dan Winters, Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson, and Keith Murphy Sports. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. You're watching Channel 13 News at 6 with Monica Madden, meteorologist Amber Alexander, and John Sears Sports. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO, the local news leader. This is Channel 13 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters, thanks so much for being with us. You know, there's never a good time for a round of messy weather. <laughs> yeah. You're watching Channel 13 News at 10 with Aaron Kiernan, Dan Winters, Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson, and Keith Murphy Sports. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. You're watching Channel 13 News at 10 with Monica Madden, Meteorologist Amber Alexander, and John Sears Sports. Channel 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader. This is WHO 13 News, today in Iowa at 4.30. Hey, it's Wednesday. Thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Jody Long. Andy will join us in just a bit, and we'll get to those top stories, too. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader. This is WHO 13 News, today in Iowa. 5 a.m. on this Wednesday morning. Man, it felt like Tuesday lasted for two days. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader. This is WHO 13 News, today in Iowa, Saturday. Good morning, welcome to Today in Iowa, Saturday. I'm Justin Cernty, thank you for joining us. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader. This is WHO 13 News, today in Iowa, Sunday. 
Good morning. Welcome to Today in Iowa Sunday. I'm Justin Cernsey. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello, Iowa. Happy win today. We are halfway through our first full week of the year. Can you believe it? We're hoping to help you start 2021 off right. The news at noon starts now. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader, this is WHO 13 News at noon. Take a live look at the U.S. Capitol as the U.S. House and Senate meet in a joint session to certify the Electoral College votes in the 2020 presidential election. Good afternoon, I'm Andy Fales, Washington, a very busy place this afternoon. You're watching WHO 13 News at noon. WHO 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader, this is WHO 13 News at 4. For more than 200 years, our country has prided itself on the peaceful transition of power, but that ended today with the U.S. Capitol overrun as Congress tried to finalize the presidential election. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us. I'm Dan Winters. It is a stunning day in U.S. history that all started with protests at the Capitol. You're watching WHO 13 News at 4. WHO 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader, this is WHO 13 News at 5. This is the scene at the U.S. Capitol tonight after supporters of President Trump stormed the building. That scene is still playing out. Officials say the National Guard is en route to the Capitol and that the FBI SWAT team is inside right now. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. Thanks for joining us. An extraordinary scene this afternoon as both chambers of Congress adjourned suddenly while protesters laid siege to the Capitol. You're watching WHO 13 News at 5. WHO 13 News, the local news leader. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader, this is WHO 13 News at 6. We're going to walk down to the Capitol and we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women. Cheering on members of Congress quickly turned into storming their chambers. That's what happened after the president's Save America rally to challenge the results of the November election. Hundreds of people walked past security and pushed past armed Capitol Police as lawmakers were whisked to secure and in some cases undisclosed locations. You're watching WHO 13 News at 6 with Aaron Kiernan, Dan Winters, Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson, and Keith Murphy Sports. WHO 13 News, the local news leader. From KDSM Des Moines, this is WHO 13 News at 9 on Fox 17. I deliver mail out in the country, so it made for a challenge today. White out conditions in northwest Iowa today as high winds and heavy snow battered much of the state. This is what it looked like for folks in Pocahontas and what they were dealing with today. From WHO 13 News, the local news leader, this is WHO 13 News at 10. President Trump sounded the call to action this morning, encouraging supporters to fight harder to challenge the results of the presidential election. You're watching WHO 13 News at 10 with Aaron Kiernan, Dan Winters, Chief Meteorologist Ed Wilson, and Keith Murphy Sports. WHO 13 News, the local news leader. WHO TV 13 Des Moines. 